at Firestone Auto Center, and um, she came. She come in there all the time to get her car worked on, and her parents come in there. And uh, she came in one time and asked me to check her oil, and she uh, asked me to open her hood, and I said, I don't know you that well. I'd be opening up your hood or looking under your hood. We went to Shuckers. He was like really quiet. He didn't say much. The one thing I remember is the waitress, and I don't know why the waitress said this, but the waitress says, oh, it's so good to see couples talking during dinner time. And we just both looked at each other like, but no one's talking. <laughs> like we're both quiet. Like maybe when she walked by, we were talking. She was like, it's so nice to see couples talking. I'm like, we're just on a date. <laughs> like we're not even together. <laughs> Like it's just a date. So I planned a dinner, made our reservations, and I grabbed, there was two boxes that the ring came in. And one box was empty, another box had the ring in it. And I left the other, I left the one with the, the ring in the box <laughs> at the house. So I, got, I come home from work, and he's like sitting down, all like dressed up. And I'm like, what are you all dressed up for? Oh, I just wanted to go to dinner. And I was like, Okay, but what are you all dressed up for? Like, why are you dressed up? Like, we don't dress up to go out to dinner. Oh, I just felt like it. Okay, whatever. So I go, get myself ready, go to dinner. And as like, we're driving to Shuckers, he's like, we're gonna go to Shuckers. And I was like, okay. And I was like, dressed up, Shuckers. Oh gosh, he's gonna propose. I was like, oh no. So I started getting nervous. So. We get there and we're eating and I'm waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. No question, no nothing. We get all the way through dinner and I'm like, thinking to myself, nothing? Okay, I must be wrong then. Like, cause I was waiting like two hours. Like we ate dinner and everything. I was like, this is gonna be night, no. So I was like, oh, well I'm wrong. So get back in the car, we leave. And then in his truck, he hands me a box. And I don't know, for some odd reason, I don't even know why. I said, what's this? Not that I could not visually see it, but, and he's like, oh, just open it. So I open it and I'm like, no, well, okay, it's empty. <laughs> and he's like, no, it's not. And I'm like, uh, yeah, it is. It's like, look, see, it's empty. So then a few choice words came flying out of his mouth. <laughs> and so he was like, I must be inside the house. So we get out the truck, we go inside, and of course he brought the wrong box. So he got the, the real box, and then he opens it up and he was like, well, you wanna get married? <laughs> like just blew the whole thing out the water. Poor thing, I felt so bad. I do. <laughs> and now, by the power vested in me by the state of Delaware, I pronounce you husband and wife, and you may share the first kiss of marriage.